guys, um, this will be a SolidWorks quick tip. Uh, this morning's quick tip is going to be on notes, and we'll call them intelligent notes or linked notes. Um, so what we have here um, is an architectural drawing, and specifically this is um, prefabrication, prefabricated buildings. So in this particular application, we plan all of the outlet locations for the electrical because there's, it's a high demand electrical building. They're, they have a 400 amp service, even though the building's only um, uh, 15 by 40. And so what we'll do first is we'll go and look at the um, information that's tied to these boxes here. So these are electrical boxes that I drew up inside of uh, SolidWorks and they've got configurations so here's a 1430R um, here is a, 16, a 650R uh, twist lock uh, L630R um, so they're all configured right and then when you go to custom properties or configuration specific properties You've got the box type, voltage, NEMA number, amperage, poles, wires, wire type, wire sizing, and if it's grounded or not. And uh, there could probably be some other things I could add to the box, but for right now, this does enough for what we're looking for. So this, these notes sit at the configuration-specific level for this box. Now, there's one exception that we have in this drawing, and I'll go over that in a minute. So what I've done is I've tied... In the drawing, I have tied those notes to the configuration-specific metadata that's in the um, that's in the model for the outlet. So as soon as the drive-through building comes up here, uh, we'll get back to what I was saying. One of the other videos I plan on doing is demand loading. So what I should have done is demand loaded this. Um, drawing so that I only had one or two tabs loaded. Everything else could have stayed out of memory. Uh, didn't know it was going to take this long to load up. All right, we're back. So when we look at this note, the note basically is tied to these different um, metadata types in the, in the previous model that I had open. And so when you go to this box right here, link to property, and then what you do is you actually go selected component you can do either one of these and then when you click this down arrow you get all of those different um, configurable uh, metadata types right these are all the things I entered into the um, the box at the part level so um, I can pick any of those and it'll show up in my notes and it's tied to the model that I had open a while ago. So, so far everything works out great, right? There's no problems. All of my notes automatically uh, display what I want them to display. Uh, here, here's one that's uh, GFCI. Um, so the problem that I ran into is I have one special outlet in this building. And we'll go to another uh, layout here. Let's see. We want... Um, we want uh, electrical elevation, rear elevation. Here. So this is something that I kind of had to look up online. This particular box here is a hardwire connection for the hot water heater. This box is a subassembly, meaning that it doesn't have the same information um, that isn't, in other words, I had to use a blank box and then add the um, connector that ties flex conduit to the blank box. So we'll go ahead and open that subassembly so what I have is I have um, this subassembly here and I have notes that are associated with this subassembly. I just tied the notes directly to this because it was a unique component. So um, here's my information here. There's no NEMA number associated with it. Um, really, 
Um, what I would probably want to do is put, is there any place to put information? Under NEMA number, I probably should have put, um, hardwire flex connector. I have my uh, I have SolidWorks set to read only that way, and don't over I don't accidentally ever overwrite something. I have to give myself permission. Sort of a poor man's uh, um, vault, and I have vault. I just choose not to use it. So let's tab back to the um, drawing. And this is going a little longer than I wanted it to, but this was something that was hard hard won. It was it was hard to learn this. Uh, just I just didn't know the methodology behind it. And of course, in typical SolidWorks fashion, they don't make it readily apparent that there's a way to pick or choose. Sort of the uh, dead man's trap in a video game. You jump down a corridor and don't expect there to be spikes at the bottom necessarily. Unless you're playing an old NES game. So, um, we're back. So, the difference here, in order to select a sub assembly, if I selected, so what first happened, I selected one of the parts that make up this hard, um, this flex sub assembly. And the notes obviously aren't sitting at the part level, they're sitting at the subassembly level. So what we'll do is we'll actually generate a new note. And I'll show you the process to go through. Uh, why it didn't... You mother... Alright. So now we're tied to it. So let's say I want just the NEMA information um, and I'm tied to that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Well, first I'm going to get the note opened up. And then I'm going to go to a linked property. And the difference is you go to selected component or other drawing view. And then there's this blue area here that says um, gland underscore four you wouldn't know in there's no drop down menu typical SOLIDWORKS fashion there's just no way of knowing that that's an interactive menu other than the fact that it's blue well what you actually do is you go down here and you right click on the part and select other and you can see that it's um, There's two um, points that lie on individual bodies, and then there's the actual subassembly right here, LT50P. That's the one you want, which then will give you access to your NEMA information, and then you would be able to set your note, hardwire flex connector. So that's the issue. Um, if you're going to tie to a subassembly, you have to go through those steps. I'll do it one more time. So, and you notice that it's different. If you know how to read this information, PRPS model is different than PRP model. And so I think S probably stands for subassembly in the SOLIDWORKS nomenclature world. We're going to go back here. We're going to go selected component or other drawing view. We're going to, now that this is highlighted, we're going to go, we're going to right click on that component, select other. And you can see this is the subassembly here. This is the building. Um, this is, I'm not sure what this is. This is the drawing view. And then two points that lie on the individual bodies. So we're going to pick that one, subassembly. Get the correct prop, um, uh, property name that we want. In this case, NEMA number. And we're good. That's it. If I wanted to put a prefix in front of this, like... Um, um, connection type so now it says connection type hardwire flex connector so that's you can annotate in front of your intelligent um, information as well guys I hope this helps someone and I will talk to you guys later